what we are coming to do, applied rock mechanics. And to put it in a better context, rock mechanics in general, we are looking at design or perhaps the safety of our designs, the safety of our designs. So if you look at surface mine, for example, you have decided to perhaps put your mine or your pit into some form of shapes and in benches, in some kind of benches, as you might have seen here. Sometimes these benches might be slanted a little, which means they are a bit flatter or they are a bit steeper. So in that context, what are some of the things that go on behind the scenes that make us make these decisions or for a geotechnical officer to make a decision and say, okay, with this, we can go ahead and have flatter angles or steeper angles. These are the things we want to have a look at. And rock mechanics is one of the things that play most of the critical role in some of these decision making. So rock mechanics in general, I always say we are responsible for the design safety. So since we are responsible, then we want to start with some basics to understand what rock mechanics itself is, the context with which rock mechanics operate. So rock mechanics, as the name implies, so we are picking the word mechanics. Mechanics itself is a subject that is coming from mechanical engineering or some of the pure sciences. And we are adapting those pure sciences that or those science, pure science principles then to apply these to rocks. And so with the pure mechanics, what they do is that they, use, they see metals, metals and other elements to have some kind of behavior which they use in propounding and proposing all of the theories of mechanics. And then we, the geotechnical engineers are saying, okay, why don't we assume that our rock is also behaving in a similar fashion so that we can easily adopt some of these principles and make use of So we then use these principles and apply these principles to rock and see how we can use these principles or these concepts of mechanics to rock. And so we have rock mechanics. And so it is the subject that is cons that is more or less concerned or responsible. It is concerned or responsible for how a rock is going to behave when you disturb it or when you apply some kind of disturbance to it. And these disturbances we are talking of could be man-made or natural. And so can we mention some of these disturbances or distractions that are man-made? What are some of the disturbances that we as we pose to the rock that are most likely man-made? So we drill, blasting, mm -hmm. excavation. We have mentioned only three, but I think the things that we do as man to cause disturbance to the rock are numerous. So then let's move on to the natural ones. Earthquake. Mm -hmm. Is it weathering? Erosion? Flood can be one. All right. So we now know that we want to look at how our rock is going to behave when we do our drilling. How will it affect the rock? And how will the rock react when we have disturbed it? by way of drilling. When we have finished drilling, we don't end there, we go ahead to blast. How will it affect the rock and perhaps areas we don't want our disturbances to get to? How will it affect the formation, which in a way can affect our future decisions we are going to make. So we want to be aware. Then the next thing will be, when we are excavating the loading and the hauling process to redistract this rock material, how 
is our rock going to behave and how will it respond to this disturbance? That is basically what rock mechanics is about. So it is the theoretical and applied science of what? The mechanical behavior of the rock. And when we are talking about mechanical behavior, we are looking at the stresses and the strains within a material is what we want to look at. And what are the theories and principles we use in determining these things? So it is the branch of mechanics concerned with the response of rock to force fields of its environment. So when forces are acting all around a rock material, so let's just say this is a rock material and it is confined, there are forces acting in all directions on this piece of rock. We want to know if we are trying to study these forces acting around this rock material, then we are concerned about what? Rock mechanics. So our next thing too would be, so rocks are aggregates of crystals or amorphous particles joined by various or varying amounts of cementing material. So when we say aggregate, we are referring to a couple of particles, okay? So our rock in the first place was formed as a result of several particles that have come together, several forms of particles that have come together and compacted over years that has given us or given birth to what we term as what? The rock material. So it is an amalgamation of several material that have come together. Take, for example, if we are talking about sedimentary rock, we know it is as a result of what? Sediments, particles or pieces, soils and other things gathering at some point and then for some time as a result of pressure and heat, then maybe it forms a different type of rock material for us. So all these processes, when they come together, the material that will bond them, so the word amorphous means sometimes they don't have shape, and other times they have got defined shape, which is the crystals. And then the material that will bind these particles, so assuming I have several particles of rocks, and then they are bound together by some element to give me that piece of rock. That is what we are terming as the cementing material. So it is made up of more or less invariable composition bounded together by forces of molecular inter interaction. So if I have a particle and another particle, there is this type of force that will put them together. And that force putting the particles together, joining them together is what we term as the cohesion. And this can arise as a result of direct contact between the particles or another or with one another. So they come together. So particles that exist within a given rock material, they come together or as a result of you putting the various individual particles together and compacting them with the cementing material. This is the process that we can most of the time come as a result of what? Getting our rock formed. But then with this course in particular, we are not going back to the fundamentals of the various types of rock, igneous rock, metamorphic rock, and then uh, sedimentary rock. Then the next thing, so rock is one of the most commonly used construction material and it's very complex and difficult to describe and define. But then in the case of our rock, no, you don't have control over its strengths in inherent pro uh, strength properties. You don't have control over them. And so it makes it difficult to deal with. You find it at location A. It has a strength of about 5 megapascal. You go to location B and you want to infer that, oh, since this place is a granite, then the likelihood of this granite at location B is going to be the same. And so let me, let's use it for the same design. And lo and behold, that one happens to be less in terms of strength. What do we do? And so that is why we are saying it is very complex and difficult to describe and perhaps give it a firm definition. That is what the rest of the statement want to affirm. Then, 
to avoid structural failures that will be associated with these activities we are going to use our rock for it is an absolute necessity it is very important that we try to understand the rock learn how to control it especially in its natural environment so when the rock is still in its original location we need to understand it learn to know how to control it that is why we have geotechnical engineers on our various mining uh, mining site helping us to control the walls so that by no means of our action will bring this material down and so we are trying to control it in its natural environment under the influence of load and the load here is the drilling the blasting and other activities that we are still undertaking in the pit or even if it is underground and then load water and other behaviors such as, such as temperature which may affect it and so these are things we need to know